Welcome to page three of Nova Shadow. I'm going to recap on my last three videos, um, so so you can help. Uh, it'll help you understand this one, but it's probably better if you watch the other videos before this video, so that way you can understand this one, because this one's going to make a lot of connections to those older videos that I made. Um, so I'm going to kind of recap on what the other videos were about. So on my first video I gave a brief introduction into shadow work, why we do shadow work and what is ego and things like that. And page two I mentioned what happens, no, I mean in page one I mentioned how ego affects vibration and the difference between high and low vibration and you know what you attract and the relationship with that. In page two I mentioned what happens when you break shadows and the shifting that happens and how it affects our relationships. More specifically the shadow projection that occurs when the people around you stay in low vibration while you end up going up in vibration. Um, and when that uh, when you're in high vibration, it can cause uh, other people to get uh, triggered or to uh, get a little, I guess, a little negative because you raise your vibration. Um, that's a form of them shadow projecting their shadows on you. Or in other words, their reaction to anything that does not validate their ego. And I'm going to talk more about that uh, in depth. So in page three, I'm going more into depth into like what shadow projection is, and I'm going to list off um, what causes shadow projection and how low vibration manifests in like low vibration manifests pretty much our reality, like physical, mental, emotional, because shadow work is is not just you know people getting triggered. It's actually a lot of things because shadow projection is it's vast like it, it's not just one thing it's like many things and depending on it, it the severity will uh it will become different but <laughs> let me explain that later so what is shadow projection anything that isn't unconditional love which would fall under judgment criticism just to name a few where does shadow projection come from it comes from our ego when we see something that doesn't validate our ego, we need to start shadow projecting. And where does our ego come from? It came from other people shadow projecting onto us, which is just another way of saying that we experienced no unconditional love. Or you learned ego from others or your environment, establishment, you know, culture, things like that. But I also, I mentioned that in my first video more. So you... Make sure to watch the other videos, okay? Um, an example of a lower vibration is shadow projection. So the lower your vibration, the more shadows you have. And you're going to run into more things that don't agree with your ego. And so shadow projection kind of gets triggered. kind of brings out the shadows in you. Okay, so there are three types of experiencing shadow projection. One is... One is where you first experience no unconditional love for the first time, like usually when you're a kid, while you were you were just being innocent, like you didn't know, um, you didn't really care until like you might have had a traumatic event, and I also mentioned that in my first video. So it might sound a little um, too simple, and you may not get it, but make sure you watch the other videos. The second kind of uh, shadow exp shadow projection experience is where it flips where you are the oppressed and now you're the oppressor in other words that's when you're so after the first part that's when your vibration lowers and you copy the very same shadow projection that you learned from others now um, you project now you're projecting on other people like other people have projected on you so now you're the one giving others no unconditional love experiences. 
just like it happened to you. So now you're doing it to others. You basically force your ego onto others. Um, because your ego's your ego oh, sorry, I'm gonna talk more about ego, but just just remember these parts. And the third type of shadow experience shadow projection experience is when you, you start to break the established ego and continue to get shadow projection from others. Like how I mentioned in page two, how shadow breaking affects relationships. Um, I forgot to mention this in page two. Uh, when it comes to the third type of shadow projection, when other people shadow project on you, it's usually like your friend or family. Um, now that you're in a higher awareness, you kind of have a desire to help the people in lower vibration. However, if you try to do this, it doesn't really work verbally with words because uh, their ego comes from their experiences, right? And so they think they're right, but they're in a lower awareness. So according to their vibration, they are right, but really it's it can be different. Um, it's important to know that higher vibration can understand lower vibration but lower vibration cannot understand higher vibration. And that's where there's a like a communication barrier. Because awareness is something you have to experience for yourself. You literally cannot give anyone like physical, like any kind of awareness. Like you could give a person a penny. And that's what I'm talking about. Like there's um like you can't give another person your experiences. You can like try to tell them, but Ultimately, if they have too much of an ego, they're not really going to listen or they're not going to, you know, they're just going to shadow project on that because they don't agree with it. Um, on a side note, there is a uh, co-creation that is involved with attracting these, these three type of situations in the first place. So I want you guys to keep that in mind. The wait, that you attract the experiences you have. All of them. Everything that you experience is a co-creation. So, like, whatever you experience, you had a part in making that happen in the first place. Um, in page one, I kind of mentioned the relationship between ego, vibration, and attraction. The lower you, your vibration, the more shadows you have, and the more ego you have, the more you shadow project. The lower your amount of unconditional love and awareness. So... Uh, so why do people even shadow project? Well, it's them expressing a way in, It's them expressing in a way a part of them that never got loved in page one I mentioned how people in low vibration start to like, fill in the gap or in other words They fill the empty loveless void inside them with things that, d that don't really substitute for love Typically, it's their ego that's telling them what to substitute love for Remember, because you're in low vibration, so the only awareness you have is, like, from an ego standpoint. So, um, so your ego will convince you of things that aren't necessarily true. And your shadow projection is also a form of you protecting the very thing that is causing your low vibration in the first place. Um, you start to form an I'll be happy when I have this mentality or I'll love myself if I have this mentality. It's basically a conditional love mentality. Right? So, um, remember, the lower the vibration, the lower love you have. The higher vibration, the more love you have. The The funny thing is that... Oh, excuse me. <laughs> the funny thing is, is that even if they were to have all those things that they think they need to be happy, they won't be. Also, people shut up project on lonely sometimes. Because, uh, like I said, they're in low awareness, so they don't even realize that they're, like, shadow projecting... So, um, so a lot of times what happens is that they might actually start criticizing or making fun of what other people do. And that's really because they're just a little jealous <laughs> of them. They don't really realize it sometimes until, like, someone has to say something. Um, let me, um, be more, I guess. Give me give an example. Like, for instance... Someone could just be having fun and being themselves and being expressive. Then someone 
whose low vibration gets triggered and they start criticizing them and telling them like how stupid they're being or they're just saying negative things that are just like mean and hurtful and they were just uncalled for it's just like they just get ticked off um for no reason and um people who so I'll just keep in mind that people who shadow predict just means they're in low vibration but there's different like there's different levels of vibration so the whole point of raising your vibration is to cut off all the cut off excuse me cut off anything that isn't love basically um so I said in my last video that the people who live in low vibration, it, it's kind of a rough life for them because they're they're unhappy because their validation is depending on what what the world says or what their ego says, and their validation does not come from within. So they're too worried about what other people think, and then they start seeing themselves in in that way. It's very, um, so they just kind of have like a bunch of like negativity. It's, it's their way of thinking and it's also their way of being. Um, it's just important to know that people who are in low vibration just, they just have a lot of pain inside them. Like I said in my, I think I said in my first video that, you know, everyone's walking around with pain inside them, not really knowing what what to do and um, that pain is changing their personality like I said in the first video um, when you when you uh, have a shadow and you have an ego you take on those qualities those characteristics of that shadow um, so what happens when people start to uh, when people have a lot of pain inside them, they tend to, like, try to distract themselves. So, like, what what do people do, I mean, like, nowadays to, like, numb their pain or to make them forget about it? And typically, it's kind of in a destructive way. Um, so, they kind of gain bad ha They kind of gain bad, bad habits. Um, and keep in mind, the longer they are with unconditional love, the worse the shadow projection becomes. And now I'm going to, like, start listing off... Um, the the forms of shadow projection or I guess shadow manifestation. Um, so here are just some, like I made a list for you to like identify shadow projection and to identify like it's coming from your ego and it's also going to help you identify that you're in low vibration. So now I'm going to read them. Um, you hate yourself. You're ungrateful. You're easily provoked and manipulated. You have no chill. Uh, you lack true fulfillment, your self-worth depends on what the world validates, uh, you tend to be stuck in the past, you're afraid to accept anything new, afraid to face your fears, you live in illusion, you live in an illusion that you are powerless, you know, very jealous of others, um, you want to change but you keep doing things to keep yourself the same, you're very judgmental of yourself and others, you are less honest with yourself, um, no confidence, you don't like to share, you're ashamed of yourself, um, you live with extreme guilt, you search for constant validation but never get it, you form attachments to things that don't really benefit you, you keep comparing yourself to others, uh, you're insecure, um, you're full of fear, you develop vain efforts to love yourself more, and you suppress what you really want to express. And in extreme cases, when you, uh, when a lot of that ego accumulates and you are longer with uh, unconditional love, it can get worse. Um, intrusive negative thoughts, uh, self-harm, drug abuse, depression, anxiety attacks, uh, overeating, suicide attempts, uh, unbeneficial addictions, pornography addiction. Um, you basically stop taking care of yourself. Uh, you can't sleep at night. You have a bunch of anger, and sometimes you have a desire to kill other people. Uh, you neglect important vital, vital responsibilities. Uh, you become afraid of yourself. Uh, you abuse yourself, and you can desire to abuse others. Uh, you form unhealthy relationship 
with others. Uh, you desire to abuse others. Um, you hate the world and you just want it to die. You feel like you are going insane. An um, you have an imbalance in duality, which is another video I'm going to talk about. Um, and I just want, and I uh, just want to mention that for for anybody in that kind of low vibration, and you have like some of the extreme cases, you you are not crazy. You are just drowning in the agony, and that's just what's going to happen when. You're in low vibration. That's the kind of stuff that's going to manifest. But um, I'm going to talk about that more in a, in a different video. Um, and on a side note, I also forgot to add this on page two in relationships. I just want to mention that when you love someone else, when you don't really love yourself first. And, th and let's say like you, like you get together with someone and then you break up with them. A part of the pain that comes from the breakup is that you ended up giving the other person more love than you gave yourself. And in the end, you just feel worse than you were before. So, um, yeah. That's the end of the video. I, I hope I made sense.